Hey, it's Drew Coolman. So we're gonna play a little game today. What if you were the real estate investor? Okay, so we're here in front of this property. It's an all brick house, corner lot, backyard is fenced. We're in good schools, nice neighborhood. This would be a great first time home buyer house. Now what you're gonna see is we're gonna just go over the pure basics. The fascia there, there's a rod on it on uh, part of the front and back, so we'll need to get that fixed. The roof, didn't see any water stains from looking above. There's a couple of pop-ups, but overall it's looking pretty good. That's like the pop-up right there. Uh, but, you know, when we go in that front room, let's look at the ceiling, see if there's any problems. I didn't see any problems. Walked around the... Um, foundation and I did not see foundation issues so foundations looking solid this was a house that at one point someone really made it a nice house and well now it's talking about investors for a reason so we don't see any water stains ceiling smooth but here's the issue right there the good news is the sub flooring is in pretty good shape but Someone took the time to rip it all up. So when they're leaving in this foreclosure, they wanted to make a statement, and unfortunately they did. So the windows are original. So what I want you to do is you tell me as a real estate investor, which upgrades would you make? And all the light fixtures basically in each room, there's not one in the ceiling on this one. Uh, but what we'll see is they took time to address taking the fixtures with them, or well, I wouldn't say with them, making certain they don't work, and making certain the flooring is no longer there. So what would you be doing? Let me show you the back. And again, the after repair value on this one is gonna be right around 159.9. Now this house is vacant for a while. We don't know when the people left. So the yard, of course, is not kept up. Get, get a landscaper out here. Hey, little boat can convey. <laughs> right here, obviously, I think you can probably see it. There it is. So we're going to need to replace that board as well. But again, three bedroom, two bath house. Heating and air unit is older. So we're going to, if you're going to do the rest of the work, you might as well go ahead and handle that as well. So we got the heating and air, the flooring in all the rooms. Touch up paint, if not repaint the whole house. Uh, that's pretty much it but it has to be cash conventional loan most likely won't work because of the repairs needed but it possibly could but no FHA VA or USDA uh, repair loans will work well on this one so I'll show you the other bedrooms and then you tell me what you would make a bid for see carpets are not in the greatest shape either so bedrooms are all a good size this is a really large bedroom fortunately they left the kids stuff here as well you can tell at one point this was someone took pride in this house and I don't know if it was a renter that was last here or if someone got behind on their payments and got upset about it but anyways, as an investor, would you bid on this house or pass on this house? If you're to go for it, what would you factor in for repairs? What would you do? After repair value, again, that's your, your key is 159.9. So use your formula, figure out what you think the repair costs are, and you tell me the number you would bid on. Have a great day. And that does not uh, force you to make an offer but obviously if this becomes available which at some point it will if you answer the question out of courtesy I'll let you know it will be coming up on the market at some point take care bye